Okay, now one more thing that you may have noticed the uh, happening up here in the search bar. So when we when we type something in, it gets reflected in the URL here. Now, don't be too concerned about these codes, but you can see that we've got the two and a space and set and then a space and then well this code refers to this curly bracket here um, up something. So so this search string is actually reflected in the URL. That's very useful because if you wanted to, for example, send a person this screen as it is with this ready to go, um, you can simply send them this link or put that on a blog post, for example, like I've done here on my blog post. So, um, so what you do is you just put a, a, that link there and uh, when they click on it, it'll come up um, possibly in a new window or in an iframe um, with that search term ready to go. So that is a very useful thing as well. Um, and uh, you can also put that search term uh, directly, if you're a developer, directly into the application program interface here. So that, that query can go there and you end up with, um, you end up with this uh, text output, which can also be JSON output as well. But uh, for most people, just being able to create a link to a predefined search is very useful. Um, and just to finish that off with these codes here, you can, you, can, um, um, you can work out what these codes are by using a URL encoder, um, such as this one, which is at myaweb.com. Okay, so that finishes off uh, this demonstration of the NetSpeak um, corporate tool. Thanks very much.